So now the pictures are just not, they have a life of their own. Fantastic. <laughs> of course. Sure. Way to set this one up. Are you sure? I, I'm, I'm waiting for it. Okay, yeah, there it is. Okay. It's not just a puzzle game. It's a horror game. Hey guys, welcome to GT Not Live, where today apparently beverages are spawning everywhere. I'm they're so spawning scared. over by Ash, they're spawning over by me. Just beverages all over the place. Just so you know. Hey, today we're playing a game called Liminal Gallery. I know nothing about it. All I know is that Markiplier played it, and it did well for him, and it's got Liminal in the name. And if there's one thing that these cha like, when you look at the pockets of content that we do on this channel, there's basically two major themes as I see it, maybe three. Analog horror, animatronic related, and with the word liminal in it. So if you're thinking about like super liminal, that was a game that we played. That was really fun and cool and played with perspective. Liminal spaces, like uh, the back rooms. Back rooms is a like, ooh, liminal spaces. It's eerie and, and unsettling. And apparently liminal gallery today. So there's our three content buckets, ladies and gentlemen. Ash looks skeptical. <laughs> Did you not know that those were our three content buckets? I, it's what know, I came up with on short notice. Wow, great. After a year and a half of working here, I cannot believe that no one communicated to me that liminal was a bucket I was supposed to be programming you Gotta in. keep filling that liminal bucket. I, if you want us to play, here's the thing. Spoiler alert, ladies and gentlemen, you at home. If you want us to play your game, put liminal in the title. Liminal animatronics, that's like, <laughs> check, with, with the VHS graphics. Checking off all the boxes. That is like our idea. That is the trifecta of GT Not Live. What does a liminal animatronic consist of? I leave it to the creative minds of the people at home. Last time I asked people to make a game for us was that Mr. Tomatoes game, and it was incredible. So who knows? Maybe if I toss you out with a make us a, a liminal animatronic game with, with the occasional VHS graphics, great. As long as it happens in an abandoned kindergarten, toy factory, or animation studio. Or adjacent. I have a great idea. Okay, okay. All right, it's not the great idea direction that you're thinking of, but I'm thinking of it, okay. so I'm going to say it. Go, please, All right. share so, with the class. Yeah, okay, class. So everyone is all about the VHS right now, right? That, they are. Yeah? They are. Wait, wait five years. Mm -hmm. Do you think we're going to see, like, analog horror on Blu-ray? So, well, I, it's interesting, <laughs> right? I'm, and it's funny that you bring that up. Oh. I feel like we're overdue for the switching over. We need it to be CD-ROM based and DVD based. Mm. Cause, Cause everyone's forget, I like the, it's interesting that even you skip to Blu-ray, everyone's skipping DVD. And there's a lot of really interesting, cool stuff that you can do with DVD menus back in the day, like chapter selects I, and yeah, things exactly. like that. I mean, even the game, here, I say the game. Uh, we're gonna play this. <laughs> Memento actually is uh, the movie Memento. It's one of uh, Christopher Nolan's early ones. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's a movie that's told in pieces and parts because the, the protagonist has uh, memory issues. He can't, he can't solidify new memories. He's got anterograde amnesia where he only works in like five minute increments. It's great, it's amazing. I love it. It's so narratively compelling, but also speaks to like the psychology nerd in me. It's, and there are real conditions like this. Um, there's a secret code and Easter eggs on the DVD menu that allow you to watch the movie in the proper order, like in, in the actual timeline event, as opposed to the way it's presented in the movie, which is this very fragmented narrative. And so in DVD, like DV some really creative DVD makers back in the day seeded in Easter eggs, clues, lore hints, whatever, into the menus themselves. And like, you know, if you just moved around on the map and you're like, oh, what's that? It's cool. Yeah. No, it was super cool. I loved being able to play So You Want to Be a Millionaire on Lion King one and a half. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is that a thing that actually existed? Yes. Really? Yes. That's awesome. I would stay up till like 9.30 p.m. back yeah. in the day, busting out those trivia questions when I didn't really know how to read. Oh, Regis Philbin, man after my own heart. Maybe one day I too can be a game show host. Yeah. I, I, I want to live my best life as an either as a game show host or as one of the contestants on Taskmaster. 
I'm so oh, hooked you would on task be mastery. So right good now. at that. I would love. It's all about lateral thinking, and I love it. Anyway, speaking of not. This isn't lateral theory. This is liminal theory. Liminal gallery. There it is. Well, send me your lateral thinking games. Here you go. It's wavy. It's got checkerboard patterns. Let's hop into this. So if uh, you don't remember super liminal, it's all about perception, right? The uh, and perceived reality. So there are no photos or videos allowed. Luckily, we are streaming this concurrently in a series of images, so get dumped on. Welcome to the gallery. Thank you very much. Still no photos or video. Okay. So yeah, uh, Super Liminal, if you all remember, was the game where it was all perspective-based, and you had to kind of like align your... Oh! oh. Didn't see that one going. <laughs> oh, oh ooh, wow. That was a hard smack. Well, I can jump. Your glutes must have been engaged for that landing. That was you it, right? It right back up. I'm, I was, I was shock absorbing that whole thing. <laughs> you went down in a sumo squat and popped back up. Right. I didn't even need to pull out the the man versus wild bear gorilla strategy of like, you hit and then you roll. If sur watching a lot of survival strategy shows, which I do on a not infrequent basis, or at least as I as a kid taught me anything it's the land and roll you always got to deflect it onto your shoulder yep survival rolls okay take take the door aim aim yep okay into the floor do i just need to fit it in somewhere oh oh here no here Oh, you want right click? Ah, the sorry, the highlighted bit of the mouse is there. It is. It's the right click. Now I use left click to accept. There. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, that's very cool. And then they're like, hold R to restart because you screwed it up. That's awesome. I love it. So again, you're seeing the the changing perspective and reality, right? So I, okay, here I am aiming it. And let's aim it. Where's a good, nice open wall? Can I just do it over top of this open wall, like right here? This looks pretty good. Right there. Please. Yes. Oh, so cool! Oh, I love perception puzzles. I love that these sorts of games exist. This is very exciting to me. Okay, take. This one's upside down. And so I'm wondering, can I go backwards? So how do we want to achieve, how do we want to achieve this? Like if I put it here. Oh, a door must be upright. Ah, I have to rotate it. Mm -hmm. I've also fallen off into the nether. Yep, probably should have read the, press this button to rotate first. There we go. I'm sorry, I thought with, with my amazing glutes that I would be able to, to land it. I, I saw how good I was at landing that, that huge fall before. Come on. We've been doing our blog a lot of these. We can take this. Right, Cassie and I are tight. We're good. Okay, here we go. Let's check it out. I like that they're giving you, ooh, door! Door, no, you've fallen. Can I go through you? I feel like that's still a valid option. I'm just. I've gone backwards this whole time. No, you're just going back. Okay. You have fallen and you can't get up. Ah. Hello. I don't know if I want to make these people real, to be honest. You know, a room full of shadow people? Not, not, not really my jam. Got to be honest. Uh, this doesn't particularly feel like a... Oh, yay, hey, everyone. Hi. Hello. <laughs> get out of the way. Get out of here. Get. Get thee gone. Here, I'm going to just fill out, fill out my little room here. Fill out, fill out my space. There you go. Plop. Go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, forgive me. Oh, just, just bad news bears across the board. One more time. Oh. <laughs> they were so overwhelmed they couldn't handle it. 
Okay, I'm just going to put you over top of each other because this is for efficiency of space. Efficiency of space. I'm just going to put you on top of each other over and over again. There you go. Excuse me, guys. Dominoes. Bye. Thank. Thank you. Excuse me. Thanks. Thanks so much. See, now that's just a poor place to hang your artwork. This is like something you'd see at the Tate Modern. Like, oh, you're going to appreciate this artwork, but we're going to hang it in, like, the most inconvenient place possible. I, the, the stance you take when you observe the art is part of the art itself. No, hundred, I actually, you know what? It's, I, I make that joke about it, it being here, and, and you just said that, but I think you're absolutely right. And I look at this, and I'm like, why haven't more art galleries, especially modern art galleries, done that? I think that's brilliant, actually. Like, hey, here's a very normal piece of art but we're gonna hang it in a very inconvenient position for you. I love that. It's the sort of thing, so again, like I've, I've talked about this, but my favorite, um, my favorite museum right now is the Tate Modern in London, because I think debating what is and isn't art is like endlessly cool and fascinating. Hmm, but the question here is, what, what am I supposed to do? Waha. 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 Get up on that pillar. Get up off that thing. No. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Where'd you come from? Have I been missing you this whole time? You little so-and-so. <laughs> well then, I'm just gonna... There we go. Let's, let's walk through the tunnel. Awesome. <laughs> well then. <laughs> Is this a reset or was that? Yeah, okay, that's a reset. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that the, the tunnel was gonna be okay. Here we go. Let's try it again. And I'm assuming I have to rotate it. Rotate it this. Or do I need you to get me up to there, maybe? What, what, what am I trying to do here? Am I trying to get to that, potentially? I do this. Nope, nope, nope. Stay on the road. Stay on the road. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna fall. Oh, are we gonna fall? Are we gonna fall? Oh. Oh, apparently, apparently, I just like phased through the floor before. <laughs> okay. I guess it was just a weird glitch that I fell through. Speaking of Christopher Nolan, it, throwback to Inception. Not too bad. Got this guy. So now, this one should get me back to that other painting, right? This is great. I love this game. This is very exciting to me. It's very liminal. <laughs> what gave you that idea? Oh no. Have I... Oh, I should have put it in a place where I didn't eat into the previous painting. I, yeah, because now I'm stuck here. Yeah, I'm going to have to reset this one. Shoot. Maybe it's in behind here. Maybe so. Yeah, okay. Reset. The one more time. The mistakes you make while trying to view the art are part of the art itself. <laughs> that's the beauty of art, yeah. right? Just write it all off. Oh, yeah. That's, it's, it was intentional. That's art. It's an artistic decision. It was a choice. Yeah. Intentional choices were made. Right. Me in projecting this artwork to you as the audience, that is the art itself. Exactly. I am commenting on the art right now. So many comments. And all those comments are great and constructive and supportive. Yeah. Absolutely. There's absolutely no angry keyboard typing. No. Why would there be? Never. Never, Ash. Okay, this feels like a good spot where I'm gonna be able to reach that painting right there. Yeah, there it is. Take that. I feel like I'm really decimating this very pleasant series of rooms, though. Like, this is a very pleasant gallery, and I'm just throwing it all off. Ooh. <laughs> cool. I love the perspective shift. Hello. Okay, what are you? Do you need to be upside down? There seems to be a hole. I'm gonna have to redo this whole thing again if I get this wrong. I kind of want you upside down because look, there's a hole in the ceiling, right? Oh, I, I do see it. I see it. You see it, right? Yeah, man. 
I think we, I think we go upside down. Oh. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Okay, wait, hold up. Okay, hold up. I'm not, I'm not ready to throw in the towel on this one. Is that, okay. YOLO! Shoot. Okay, reset. Darn it. Darn it! I think what I saw as a hole in the ceiling was just a fluorescent light bulb. <laughs> classic, classic overthinking mistake. I guess this game wasn't super liminal enough for this brain. Let's, third time's a charm, it's fine. This is all part of the learning process, we're doing great. Right, but artwork put in inconvenient places, yeah. I think that's a brilliant idea. And I, it's I've been to a fair amount of like modern art museums and stuff, and maybe it just hasn't been in any of the ones that I've seen before, but I've never really seen that done. I feel like it must have been done at some point. Oh, for sure. But here's the thing. What if we did, did it. it? Ourselves? The Theorist Art Gallery? Oh my gosh, a Theorist Art Gallery would be so fun. I'd be so into that. I, the performance art exhibitions that we would do, those would go crazy. Oh, it would be it'd be great, Ash. It'd be so much fun. I think us doing an art gallery that's just a mind-bending game. <laughs> it's such a blast. There we go. Look at that. Anything behind the door? Nope. Just you know, just the fake props. It could be like an ARTG. An a an art G, an <laughs> art game. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> ARTG. All about that. Ooh. Left or right? Let's go left. The darkness on the left is speaking to me. Oh, and now we are in a maze. Is this like a pool locker room? This is the back rooms, Ash. Ooh. We're in we're in the pool rooms of the back rooms. Gotcha. Obviously. Hey, ducky. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm beaching it. Oh, my shoes. See, even my shoes are getting wet. Like the Ugh. moist carpets of the back rooms. Hello. There's a lot of splashing, and I don't know if I can get behind that. But <laughs> no, you 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 don't you don't abide. Well, the the question the ash is. Ash does not abide. I, ash does not abide. I just the source of the splashing is unclear to me, Ooh, because look, the ducks are stationary. Space. Yeah, right. The, the I think it's. It's an ambiance, right? The artwork is about the discomfort that you know that the water should be moving and that splashes should be happening. Yeah. And that the duck should be moving, but they're not. The, di the dissonance you feel between what is expected it and is. what is observed. It is. It is. It is. That, that tonal dissonance in yeah. your head mm -hmm. that's messing with you. I oh, God! No. No. Hate it. Hate, hate spiders. Don't love that one. Also, don't love the fact that I didn't get a chance to say yes or no to that. <laughs> I, was, I was about to say, nope, not making that one real. I feel betrayed by the game. That was a crisp noise. Oh. Oh boy. Got ourselves the giant bananas. Fair enough. So now the pictures are just uh, have a life of their own. Fantastic. <laughs> of course. Uh, sure. Way to set this one up. No? Are you sure? I, I'm, I'm waiting for it. Okay, yeah, there he is. Okay. Is that it? Is he behind me? Is he somewhere? Okay. <laughs> okay. Great. So. It's not just a puzzle game, it's a horror game. I was really hoping that the person was supposed to represent you and you'd Ooh. walk into the space and that's when it would disappear. That's, see, that's, maybe, who knows? Maybe that's still the case. Yeah, maybe. They've, they're just, oh. Oh, hi. Hi, I, balls, here we go, okay. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I like that they're buzzing. Right. It always feels like somebody's watching me. Oh, it feels like somebody. Oh, hey, bud, you doing okay? Oh, your buddy's like phasing through you right there. 
<laughs> Amazing. Oh my gosh, guys, got 100 views. Can I get a couple more? Oh, this guy just down below. He's like, I, I, I paid for the cheap seats. He's got the vision obstructed seats. Maybe he's nervous. They were on extreme discount down there. Look, when the rest of the tickets are like 300 bucks. I don't... Yeah, Take the 60. Right? Con right? Concerts are expensive, man. Just being in the room. That's enough. That's enough. You know, if you have to like lean over around the pillar for a while, or you missed like that act one entrance that happened off to the side, I get it. Ooh. Ooh, we got a camera now. I did. I took the camera and it continued to rotate in my hand. Oh. Hello. Okay. Okay. Turn the print it up. Yeah. And then like this with this. If I did, what would I do if I did? Let's try I think I'm gonna try this, and see what happens. Yeah, I was gonna say this might be too vertical though. Yeah. Reset. Right, so okay, if I take a picture of this guy. Yeah, I need it to be more of a flat picture. There we go. Cool. This is this is smart. This is very creative. I like this a lot. Door. Okay, so this one. Can I zoom in? I guess I can't. Uh, but like this, I can do this. Print it up. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm good. Oh, more film. Oh, no, I got to worry about film? Get out of here. <laughs> no, limited resources. I don't want that. Uh, let's get up there. there. That'll do. This is great. Door. Excellent. Do I get more film? I'd like more film, please. Okay, there you go. Nice. Rocking at the five. So this. How do I want this to be? Can I, can I just take a picture of this door? It, it, in terms of like lateral thinking, if I'm just putting doors in places, can I take a picture of that door? and have it open somewhere else? Is that a possibility here or no? That'd be fun. Right, let's try it. Why not? There's no rule to say that this door is not a valid door. I respect your integrity as a door. You're so valid. You are a valid door. The game disagrees. Yeah. Game disagrees that this is a valid door. The game does not define you. You know what? You, you, you don't ascribe to society's expectations of you. You do yourself, door. Uh, okay, this is this is that room in every puzzle game. That's the like. Okay, but really, put put your knowledge to the test now. Um, if I if I take a picture of this and then I put it down somewhere. Right, because if I, can I understand this? Here, let's just do this, just for the sake of experimentation. Also, why are they black and white now? That's interesting. Can I fall into you? Or no? Like if I, yeah, here, you go here. But see, this is gonna just launch me off. Maybe? Oh, maybe not. Hey, that was much simpler than I expected it to be. Cool. I will gladly take that. Boop. Taking the camera film. Okay. Whoop. Can I, I wish I, I wish there was a zoom feature on this guy. Nah, you're stuck with the nifty 50. <laughs> the nifty 50. Now, how do we want to swing this? It's gonna do. Can I crop it? Cropping would be very beneficial to me, I feel like, in this moment. Gotta mock the scissors for that. Snip. If I do, like, the shortest possible jump. Because if I do, like. 
would that that would be too far still. Hmm. That's gonna be far. If I do it like right. If I do it underneath me. <laughs> Just if? fall onto the door. Kinda. Yes! Uh, no! Door must be upright! It's upright look, it's up look! It's kinda upright to my perspective! Damn it. <laughs> Shoot. Ah! You have to admit, it was pretty good. I was I was pretty proud of that one. <laughs> that was that was alright. I thought that was acceptable. Here, what if? Uh, if I do this. Uh, yeah? Uh, yeah? How about them apples? This is good. This is a good game. This is what... You know it's a good puzzle game when... I, I'm going to show this to Stephanie later tonight, and she is going to play the heck out of this thing. This is awesome. It's, this is brilliant. Okay, so now we got to... So we have a couple things going on here. First, we got to rotate it. Second, we got to get a nice long hallway out of it. So let's see if I can do that, actually. Because I also don't want to... Can I, can I merge you all the whole way? Can you go that far? Oh, getting squished. <laughs> a little bit too much. Let's try again. Got a bit too aggressive there. That's great. The idea of forcing you to uh, take the picture of the floor after that you've taken so many pictures of the doors. It's a good idea. This is really well done. Carry it through a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that's money. Why? Why? Why is a mystery? Why is this mystery door appearing here? Why? Why are you doing this? Why are you the way that you are right now? Why? Why are you doing this to me? I don't. I don't want you in there, door. Uh, let's do it a little bit lower. Hey, door. Hey, door. Leave me alone. Go. Door, what? Why are you here? Why are you here and doing this? Are you just like because I'm taking a picture in the general direction of the door? Oh, can I crouch underneath you? I cannot. Ah, can I make you disappear by taking a picture of like empty space? Oh, fine, I'll just reset. I I will reset, but let it be known I'm not happy about that. Also, what happened to my little mysterious friend? My little shadow man. Should I be concerned more about my shadow man friend? I feel like the answer is yes. It's fine, you just set, set an entity loose. It's, it's no big deal. No, you know how it'd be. Do you smell orbit gum? Do I sell orbit gum? A smell. Or maybe like a spearmint. <laughs> I, you know? These are these are great questions. Um, I don't. You don't. I'm sorry. Sorry to disappoint. It's so pungent. <laughs> I, I love I love the phrase. It's so pungent. <laughs> Am I dying? Where is it coming from? That's you know, so random. Life life comes at you fast sometimes. But orbit comes at you faster. Oh shoot! I covered up the door. Okay, this room's getting obnoxious. <laughs> I, I, this, this, I need to be better in this room here. Okay, here. There. There. Orbit gum, huh? What's your, what's your preferred gum, Ash? Oh, um, I like those ice cubes. The cube ones. Oh, the cubes. Oh, oh sure. Man, that's like sensory heaven. <laughs> Crunch down on that cube, flatten it all out. They do have, they do have a very nice texture. The burst of flavor, are you kidding? No <laughs> contest. Wow, no contest. No. Really? None? None. I'm always going to take the cube. Cube every time, huh? Cube every time. What about you? You know, Ollie's a big fan of uh, Hubba Bubba right now. Oh, Hubba so Bubba. So I, I think i got to respect the Hubba Bubba. Oh, for honest. sure. Like a true, or, shoot, a true originator of the craft. <laughs> The true originator of the craft of gum. Yeah, I guess I was thinking about like 
When I think of gum, I don't think of the bubblegum flavor. Yeah. I think of mint. And I don't know if that's a cultural change that's been ever prevalent sure. in our um, supermarket culture. Wow. Um, <laughs> but, this, is, this is deep. I mean, if you think about it, you're at like the counter of a convenience store. Uh-huh. And all the gum you're seeing is mint, spearmint. Mm-hmm. Maybe there's one that's like an orange. They like to do that sometimes. Orange gum. I mean, that's chaos right there. It, it, I agree with you. It's kind of like orange Tic Tacs. A little bit, a little bit chaotic. My girlfriend offered me orange Tic Tacs this morning, oh. and I turned them down. I, I and rightfully so. Right. I mean, to be honest, no, I don't think anyone can fault you. I turn down the orange Tic Tacs. Thank you. So I realize now that in in order to flip this upside down, wait, have I have I been? Oh, I'm such an idiot. Have I been doing this one the whole time? Is that all? Is that all I've needed to do this entire time? That's all I've needed. Oh, there's just a gap in general here, I guess. All right. Again, for experimental purposes, can I put you as the? Oh, I guess now you're just gonna be a wall. Fine. Just hang out on the wall. <laughs> just, just hang out there, wall. That could be in our art exhibit. We take pictures of the wall, make it 3D, and hang it on the wall. That was wrong with me. I should have just dug it over the floor. And I'm gonna cover this up and then... Can I do this? Oh, damn. Just try to cover up this a little bit. Just this little, little bit. This. Wait, so, okay, so you were offered orange gum. Or, sorry, you were offered orange Tic Tacs. Correct. And you're still in a relationship with this individual. <laughs> it's been five years, Matt. I have to have some lenience. Uh, you know, I understand. But at the same time, like, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty harsh... That's a pretty harsh pill to swallow. I, yeah, which is why I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> some people like chaos. I do, but to a degree. The door did not fall flat like I was hoping, unfortunately. So we got this. So we need just an open space to connect here. So we kind of need like this, right? If I were to position this thusly. Is that going to give me the, what I need out of this? Let's see. Is that going to give me what I need here? I need it to kind of match up to... I think this will work. To be like here. It's going to cut off. What's that going to cut off for me? I need it to be like a little... Far enough back, like there. Let's try this. Oh, a little bit. Oh, a little bit. Not quite. Not quite. Almost. Do I need to just be a flat wall back? No, because I need a way over there. So you kind of need it to be like this. Right? I think I'm thinking about this the right way. Or does it need to be more this way? Ooh, maybe this way is the right way. And then it keeps the hall open on that side. See. Again, I think I'm understanding that right. We don't want the wall to cut us off. Let's say something like roughly there. Oh, did I make it? Just ah, yeah. Okay, just enough. <laughs> Not. Ooh, hello. Empty space. Off in the darkness. You're suspicious and weird. Uh, okay, so now we need just an open. Okay, to get through this guy. Put a large floor. <laughs> Hey, 
a large floor. I'm just continuing, just continuing the floor through this. That's not gonna do it. But I can't cover up the door. Right, it's, it's made a, if I could crouch, man, my life would be so much better if I just had a crouch ability. I mean, I could open up the wall here, potentially. If I do, what, like this. And I do like, oh, here's a wall. Whoa, look at this cool wall. This cool wall. I'm, I'm chipping, come on, yeah, there we go. Bit by bit, we'll carve open a hole, it's fine. We'll get there. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. So next up, ooh, they're giving me a lot of film. They're like, you're gonna need a lot of pictures for this one. All right, so we've got up here. I need to get up there, so. Option one is, can I just take a picture of the steps and then put steps all the way. So the door is up there. So I don't really want to see the door just yet because that might like throw things off. If I do like, hey, here's some steps. Then I do it like here. It's like, hey, here are steps. It's like right there. What? Wait, what? Hold up, you were not in the picture. You weren't, you weren't a part of that picture. Mm, fine. Here, what if I do? Here's a bunch of, let's do a nice close to the steps. And then here, do a nice. Right, this should work, because I'm just seeing the steps. And it should, oh. Leap, 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 leap. Am I climbing up these steps? You're just no clipping through the steps. I'm just steps. no clipping onto the steps. And also that didn't solve my problem here. Why, why are you giving me depth? There's nothing behind you in this picture. By the rules of the picture, this should not be working, right? Because I took a close up of the steps. I call foul game. I think I have a valid solution to this one. How about this? Hoop, hoop, hoop. Yeah! I refuse to admit defeat on this one. Go! Oh, hey! Yep, no clip. Yep! Yep! Heave your bod! Heave it! Heave! Oh. All right, well, clearly this is uh, not the, the proper strategy here. Although, again, I think, to be fair, I, here, I think it's the pillars. I think the pillars are gonna help me in this one. It's like, oh, the pillar is going to a good pillar. Is this a good pillar? Let's try this. Let's let's see what it does. I'm curious. If I do this, are you just gonna cause me to fall down into it? Maybe. Woo! Nope. Great. That's fine. We're all good here. What if kind of like what we did before with the steps. Where you take a profile shot of the step. Uh -huh. And then we put it like, hey, look, here is a step that you can climb upon. Here we go. Great. And then we just do it again. Can I, can I just copy and paste? Cop copy and paste my own artwork again? No, sadly. A picture of a picture. Oh man, someone call Ranbu. We're gonna be experiencing ge some generation loss here. Xerox of a Xerox of a Xerox. It's fine. Okay. Then I rotate it this way and create an MC Escher painting. Wow, we're just we're just carving up this museum left and right. It's fine. We got one more. There we go. Smile for the birdie. Oh, the lost art of the Polaroid. Okay. Right. 
Lieb, lieb. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I'll take it. Don't know. I, I love how there are so many solutions to this. Because here's the thing. I think that there are infinite. It's infinite solutions to this game. It's great. It's however you want to solve it. Because I feel like there's absolutely a solution with these pillars. I feel like there's absolutely a solution with the steps that I did. I still think, like, depending on the perspectives, there's any number of solutions. So now what do we need? I need a picture of this guy. And I think I need to fall into him. Because, again, I don't know what this thing is. And there's no door in sight. So that tells me that I need to fall into the gap. Fall into the gap. Fall into the gap. Hey. Hello, what do we have here? Nice. Okay, this is here. So we're just gonna take a nice, nice little stroll off into the distance. Beautiful gazebos everywhere. It's a bit of a hike up the hill. <laughs> Sir Duck! Hello, Sir Duck. He's a classy guy. <gasps> Space Duck! Picture. I mean, yes, I do. And then what's the last one here? Before I take any more, I probably shouldn't have taken it. Ooh, beach duck. Goose. Technically goose. Does he have the waddle on his on his bill? So forgive me. Apologies to all the ducks out there as well as all the geese. Misappropriating. Hmm. I do wonder from an artistic perspective what the symbolism is of the waterfowl that are ever prevalent in this game. It, it's it's deep. There's, there's a lot of messaging here. Yeah. Okay, there's nothing behind the old mansion there. Totally cool. I'm okay with that. I will abide. I guess we can take another round. Take another round of this. Keep, keep checking it out. Take another little stroll. I'm curious about space duck, though. I do, I do kind of want space duck, Ash. I mean, you simply got to have space one must, duck. One simply must have space duck feel like to not ex at least explore Space Duck's world would be irresponsible of us. Well, and now we've now we've explored Space Ducks and it was it was it was alright. Yeah. A little barren. But we had to. But we got to. We got to do it. And then here. Look at this guy. And his awesome dog. awesome deal with its sunglasses. This is a guy. He's he's living his best life. All right, let's walk to one more gazebo and see what happens here. This one, I, I made sure we cast it downhill because my quads and my glutes were a little bit tired going uphill the whole way. They've been engaged the whole time. They've been engaged ever since the first landing. They have been <laughs> so engaged. They're tired, man. We need a little active recovery. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, just, need, I just need a breath for a second, man. <laughs> just, just give me a break. What is this? Is this supposed to be a staircase going up? Is this a staircase going down? What am I looking at here? Let's say it's a staircase going down. Up, great. We're gonna go up while going down, it's fine. Hello. I mean, who are you to judge that it's not upright? Let's be honest here. Upright is a state of mind. Right, I mean, upright by whose perspective? <laughs> I'd say it's close to upright. It's, you know, maybe not close to upright. <laughs> Very slanty. It's it's a bit slanty. Here. Here. Your door. Wanna be upright? Here, let's see let's see how many yeses this game says to me. Uh where do I want it to be? Here, this is what I want. Can I get up here? Well. <laughs> Place the picture! Place the picture! Broken! Broken! How's that? <laughs> like catch my ball! We got this! Broken. I'll show you what's broken. Break your face, broken. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know that was harsh. That yeah, was that, that was harsh. that was a lot, man. I apologize. I you know. Apologies to all the pictures and broken doors out there. This feel, yeah. This this feels like a final stretch. I will say, like a dramatic climactic finale, as you walk to just multiple gazebos. I love the fact that the like shadow man that they teased never actually came. To fruition in any way, shape, or form. I mean, truly, maybe, maybe Shadow is you. Me the whole time. Oh, 
upside down. This should put it up right. Right, no, yeah. I'm climbing up the stairs. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Bench. Bench. Oh, bench. Don't do me. Oh, here's a here's closer bench. Closer bench. Oh, Can you take picture of bench and move to help you? Let's see. Need to be big bench. Bench help. Bench, please. There it is. Boom. There it is. Ash, good one with the bench. Lateral thinking. Pro. Hello. I did take the camera film. Oh my gosh, do I get Ooh. to teleport to the moon? To the moon! You can see Space Duck. We're coming for you, Space Duck. You and me, bud. To the moon! I missed the moon slightly. <laughs> no, I'm in its orbit. Gra grab me in your gravitation moon. Ooh, double moon. <laughs> Ooh, double moon. Well, you know what they say. Uh, valid, valid, valid answer. <laughs> you know what they say, Matt. What? Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land amongst the stars. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll take another picture. Shoot again and <laughs> land on a second or third tertiary moon. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you could take a picture. Right? You could take a picture and then and then properly land on the moon again. Okay. Come for you, moon. There, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm right I... there. I'm right there with you, bud. Come on, moon. Oh. Boom. Moon. Nailed it. Noom. Whoa! <laughs> Double moon, oh, triple moon. All the moons, and there's Space Duck. Hi, Space Duck. Hey, Space Duck. The end. The end. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thanks for playing, created by Ken, Ken Forrest. You. You are a champ. There it is. Well done. Remember my friends, shoot for the moon and you may end up on a second moon. Tried and true. That was fantastic. Super, super cool. I love that sort of puzzle solving. It, it's so lateral thinking-y. It's the perfect amount of time. I would love to see more of these sorts of games and even more fleshed out too. Cause like the rotation, I feel like we, they introduced like you can rotate things, but we didn't use it nearly as much as I expected to. I, I'm actually really, now that I've played this, I'm actually incredibly excited to watch Mark's playthrough of it and anyone else who's touched this game. Cause playing through it, there are so many solutions to these puzzles and so many options that you have that I'm sure that everyone's brain solves them differently and i'd love to see what everyone else is doing to solve these so cool so awesome so go play and, and hey play it yourself upload your videos like enjoy this is this is so so cool so uh thank you to mark and mark's team for finding this game thank you uh for like being here and watching it and across the board, like really, really awesome stuff. If you know of any games similar to this, send them our way because these sorts of perception-based games are like so awesome uh, and so fun to solve. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Ash, as always, thank you for joining me. Watch out for any uh, duplicating cups out there. And as always, we'll see you in the next episode. So remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. See ya!